how to test a capacitor using a multimeter. My name's Alan Hart and in today's video we're going to show you some fault finding on an oil burner and how to test the capacitor in the motor. Also this same test can be used on different components in pumps and warm air units etc. Lots and lots of different uses rather than changing expensive parts in boilers oil boilers, gas boilers even, warm air, whatever, then you can use your multimeter on, on testing it. This video has been sent in from a subscriber and it, it's from Jules. So thank you again, Jules, for, for sending these videos in and helping supporting this channel. Um, I'm very grateful for that. And if anybody else has any videos, anything useful, again, please send them in. I will add my WhatsApp details below in here. Also, if you could like, share, comment, and it, that really, really helps with the video. Uh, without further ado, let's go over to Jules. Morning guys, just wanted to talk to you a bit about motor start capacitors and testing them. Don't know whether this is something everyone's doing, guys. I've talked to a lot of them don't, and you could save yourself a lot of headaches and possibly the customer a lot of money by just doing a very quick and simple test. Um, I was stood in a socially distant queue for a spares counter this week, a trade counter behind a guy. This is a plumbing and heating engineer, supposedly, who had. Um, was relating this story, he changed every component on this customer's oil burner, um, control boxes, photocells, oil pumps, solenoid coils, you name it, he'd done everything but the motor. And he was wanted a motor for it because he changed everything else and he was still getting intermittent lockouts. Now, first thing in the morning, and to me, that screamed this component immediately. And I'm going to try and show you why. So, Capacitors, motor start capacitors, not only on oil burners, this is on an old um, electro oil, oil burner, um, sterling burner, could be on could be on anything, you know, um, on circulating pumps, um, on warm air, fan blower motors, all, all kinds of things. Um, and you'll find if you look at the side of it, it gives you a value. On there you can see that value just about, it says 3 UF, it's that figure there, 3 UF, and that's indicating the value of that when you come to test it with your multimeter. So quick and easy test, pull the cap off, couple of leads on there. I tend to just earth it out with a VDE screwdriver across the terminals then you know you're safe then to, to touch it. You're not going to get any kind of belt off it or anything. Um, you can put the test leads onto it. Test leads onto your multimeter. What you can do then is you can test. So multimeter, nothing flash at all. Little fluke. Um, does everything I need. Go around the scale on this meter for UF. So that's reading 2.97. So not three, slightly less, but still that's a healthy reading. What you're looking for on there it says three plus or minus five percent. So that's that's plenty. If that was down anything sort of sort of around the two under the two and a half mark then I would be suspicious certainly changing it. Okay, so I've got a new one here to show you. The new one, I'll just clip onto there. Quite difficult one-handed filming and there we go. And the new one and that are giving us a reading of 3.035. So as you see that old one still in range, no problem. So that's how you test motor start capacitors. Always worth keeping a selection. The other thing that perhaps talk about is there lots of different capacitors. So you might see that one, that one's a four. Um, you've got 
threes, that one we just looked at. Okay, 4.5 is another common one. Do not mix them up. Whatever you take off that motor, because of the wattage of the motors are different, the manufacturer will have the correct capacitor on there for that motor. And I've seen capacitors with the wrong motors on, and it does the motors no favours. They can get very hot, and I'm told by guys in the know about these things that, that they can run faster or slower as well. Um, so always important, replace with the correct value, not just whatever you can lay hands on. So I hope that's been informative, and uh, take care. Thank you very much for that, Jules. Very, very interesting video. I find this type of video absolutely fascinating. It's not something that I cover normally. As I've said previously, I do not do oil. So as many of these videos you can send in, the better, to be honest. I, I really, really enjoy watching them myself. And if I enjoy watching them, I will upload them onto this channel. So if you've got any videos that you want to send in, I will add my WhatsApp details below in this video and if you if you've got any questions then again please ask them put some comments below the comments and likes and all that type of stuff really really helps with the videos so i'm very grateful for anybody who does that also we did a video recently on the tb118 so that's the technical bulletin for your electrical safe isolation of boilers and i did that video with socket and c and there were quite a lot of questions in that in that video. I will add a link to that video as well in the description below or in the comments below, should I say. Um, please check that video out. And if you have any questions at all to do with the safe isolation and, and keeping you safe when you're working on gas boilers or any type of boiler really, then please ask them in them comments below in them videos because I've got Socket and C coming back in, I think it's next week or week after. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a video purely on answering your questions. So what we'll do is we'll look at the comments that's been asked in the, in the previous video, in the TB118 video. We'll have a look in that video, we'll look at the comments and then we're gonna answer them questions. We'll also try and do demonstrations to answer them questions as well. So for instance, if somebody asks for, um, I don't know, how do you know you've got correct earth or whatever, whatever question is, we're going to try and make a scenario, if you like, and, and show, um, give you the answers, try and help you as much as we can, really. Um, and as I say, if you've got any videos, please send them in, like, comment, share, subscribe, all that, all that good stuff and, you know, great, yeah. More, more that we can do, the better, really. Uh, and I think I'm babbling on again. Um, yeah, if you've got any questions, please ask. I know that I've still got to do that video on relays. I've got my relays over there. Somewhere up wall there, I don't know if you can see. So I've done my central heating system. I've had um, Darren. Darren's an electrician. And Darren did the wiring on that. I hadn't done any wiring on relays before, so Darren came and did the wiring for them relays. Darren's gonna come back and we're gonna do a joint video together because I would rather, um, I'd rather show you the experts and what they, how the experts do it. Um, yeah, it is quite easy to be honest. I've, I've totally got my head around it now and I totally understand it. So that'll be a good video. I've also got um, ECA, boilers so ECA boilers they've sent me a boiler free of charge so I'm going to do a review on that boiler and I'm also going to ask you what I can do with that boiler because I would like to if possible I'd like to give that away somehow or make it so that a charity or, or I don't know yet but if you've got any ideas for that again if you can put some comments even in this video if it means go fit a boiler for somebody, um, if they'll donate the money to, I'd like the money to go to my chosen charity, if possible, because I just keep plodding along with that, and that's me um, overall agenda, if you like. 
my, my target, my true target is to, to raise a million pound for charity. Um, again, I'll put a link in this video below for that. So if anybody feels like quite generous, I know it's quite hard times at the moment, but if anybody does feel generous, then, you know, please add a donation onto there. Yeah, and I'm definitely babbling on now. If you've got any ideas for any videos or out, again, put some comments below and, and let me know. And thank you, thank you to everybody who helps, supports and is helping to build this channel as well. Thanks so much.